Nice one, food tubers. Jamie Oliver here, and I am with Alex James. He makes cheese, I make food. So we invented a festival, and we called it Feastival. So we have a festival every August, between August and September. Last day of August, first day of September, on my farm. And we have a little rave up, and it's brilliant, and it's fantastic, and it's like, it's everything that we love about food, eating well, like demonstrations from all the best chefs, and like amazing suppliers there, and he sorts out all the music, great music. Yeah, we've we've got, got this, year. We've got, this year we've got uh, Basement Jacks, Whistle Kicks, Mark Owens coming, Leanne Le Havre's Cuban Brothers, Cuban your favourites. Brothers, yeah. Maybe some people out there don't know that you love food and this is your cheese here. Um, <laughs> it is. Well, people used to throw cheese at me when Blur were playing because everybody knew that I, <laughs> that I loved it. You know, some musicians get knickers. I got cheese. cheese. But, guys, what I want to do is... Um, this is quite a nice recipe. It's called fonduta, pasta fonduta. It's basically like making a kind of fondue sauce. Uh, but you mm. can embrace green things. And right now, asparagus is good, but it could be spinach. So, th this pasta sauce is the easiest thing in the world, okay? Um, it does help if you have a carrier, okay? The carrier being, uh, uh, it could be double cream or it could be mascarpone. And then I just want to take bits, if you can cut bits of your yeah, cheese, man. and we're just going to melt this slowly. This is in a bowl over some boiling water. This is the same boiling water that we are going to uh, cook the pasta in. You know, the nice thing is I'm not doing it in a pan, it's not aggressive. Um, and it's really gently melting the cheese. So feel free to put whatever cheese oh. you fancy in, bro. If you have never had marjoram, buy some seeds. It's a brilliant weed, it comes back every year. Really good with cheese, best friends with cheese in the world. Um, and also, you know, as per all herbs, uh, just has a whole catalogue of wonderful medicinal values that you just want to know about. And this is an unwaxed lemon. Notice that it's only the beautiful, fragrant, yellow, lemony part. Can you smell that? It smell amazing, yeah. this. So zingy. I don't want it to be a sherbet dip, so I'm only using <laughs> half. I'm only, I don't want to spoil his cheese, but no, look, that's all I've used, half a lemon. Let me know yeah. if I need to taste this, mate. We just got, all we've got to do is melt all your cheeses down <laughs> and then just, like, take this, it to France. This pan now goes on to full whack. We've got fast boiling water. We've got, you know, a generous amount of salt going in the water. No, you're not going to eat the salt, but if you do not season the water, it's going to be bland and you'll never, ever catch up. We're going to go in with this tagliolini. Of course, you could use a spaghettini or a spaghetti. You can put a lid on for a second. As soon as that comes back to the boil, we're going to go in with our asparagus. I'm just going to cut it at an angle, mate. Cutting it at a bias, they call it. All the pasta says different times because it might be made with eggs or water. Uh, and when it's two minutes away from being cooked, that's when we go in with the asparagus. So this is getting towards, I don't want to overcook it. It's a really nice colour, that pasta. Um, we can drain this right now in a colander, but actually, one of the most valuable things to any pasta dish on the planet is not the pasta, it's not the sauce, it's the starchy water in which it was cooked. I'm just gonna just flip that in there. A little bit like cooking the perfect omelette, you want to go a little bit too wet so that you're embracing all the things that you love. And then look, we're back back here to starchy water again, and we're going to feed it because it's not perfect because it's sucked up too much water. Okay, don't forget the flavour. We got we got flavour, yeah. Texture. If the texture's all wrong, it's rubbish. So there we go. Oh, we're going to pour that up. onto our plate here. Uh, like a lot of cooking, we are storytelling here, and a little bit of a reminder of the lemon juice, just because it's going to perfume up mm. over the top. Um, what's quite nice is a little bit of black pepper from a height. Oh, yeah. You know, that black pepper is that classic sort of heat from carbonara. It wouldn't be a pasta dish without some good cold-pressed extra virgin olive oil. Ladies and gents, that is pasta fonduta a la Alex James cheese scenario. It smells and looks so inviting. Thanks for coming around, man. Oh, mate, it's always great to um, see you. Well, I can't wait to um, see you down the farm. Yeah. Feastival's feast going to be wicked this year. All the lemoniness is just divine. I've studied for years trying to eat like Nigella. She does it so sexy. Anyway, lots of love. Alex, thank you very much. We're going to carry on eating like pigs. We're just going to wear it, basically. We're in cheese and pasta heaven. Mm. See you at the feast of all. Lots of love. Don't forget, comment, subscribe. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> Take care.